joined by Gary Wilson, professional snooker player, part-time pool player. How have you assessed this week? I know you've just lost, but yeah. what do you make of all this? I enjoyed it. Um, obviously, coming here, the main aim was just to enjoy it and just try and give it a good go. Obviously, I'd have been... I'm disappointed now, but I would have been even more disappointed if I'd have just turned up and lost straight away first game and then lost again and just not really got into it. I wanted to try and get me meat into it a bit, like me claws into it a little bit more and just sort of get a feel for what's going on and understand like the way the shots work and just see how different it is to snooker. And obviously I found it is a lot different and it's more I found that the conditions, similar to snooker I guess, when you're playing in top like conditions with match cloths and the speeds of the tables and things, it's, it's so different to what we've ever played on in terms of pool, for me especially back home or anything. So. Yeah, it's, um, it's an eye-opener, and I, I can, I can kind of know what to expect now. And what about uh, before this event? How much practice did you really put in? Is it just a case of just show up and see what happens? Seriously, like, I, had, a bit of effort? Seriously I had three sessions, okay. and it was like a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there, and another, another like hour or so. Yeah, probably about five or six hours, I would say. But that's like with somebody, not on my own, that was like with somebody at trying to help us like get the break right. Um, so, yeah, thanks to Chris Robson, he helped us out with that and uh, taught, taught us how to try and get a bit of a consistent break, which generally worked for us, uh, to be fair. I know it's easier with the magic racks yeah, and learning yeah, yeah. all that as well. But um, And also Brian Harcrow, he sort of gives us his equipment and try to teach us a few things as well. So I've had a little bit of help, but yeah, five or six hours on the table, mate, basically not, not a lot. And how, how does it differ for you coming to a pool event where it's obviously a bit more relaxed and a bit more carefree, where you're wearing these jazzy you know, coloured tops instead of a full tuxedo. Yeah, exactly. Not even wearing my shoes because they ripped my feet apart <laughs> and I had to borrow your terrible sliders to get myself home. But at least you're giving me back though. <laughs> at, le at least I could have just nicked them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been it's been good. Um, and obviously, music playing. Is yeah, for me, it's, it's been good. It's been different. It's been like a lot more relaxed, as you say. The, the atmosphere has been a lot more sort of. I would say it probably. I don't know this, I'm not a pool player, but it probably eases the pressure, I would say, on the pool players. Yeah. I know when you're playing in these top games on the, in the streaming tables or TV tables, it's still obviously going to be under a lot of pressure. I would, When I'm thinking about it, I think the atmosphere eases that, but at the same time, because the level's so high and everybody like knows if they make one mistake, it's pretty much game over, which kind of happened to me there a little bit. That probably evens it out, so you, you know you've got to be like on point, but... There's no sort of nerves of like, uh, it's not really like pressure. It's more yeah, like pressure yeah. on yourself where just if I make a mistake, I've lost kind of thing. But the atmosphere was so much more relaxed. Yeah, I always look at this like it's sort of two events. It's like everyone's thrown in the middle until we get our final 16 and then yeah. sort of the music gets switched off and it's like all eyes on one table. Yeah, and then th my first two games on the streaming table, I was just getting accustomed to things and then I played my third game on one of the outside tables and still getting accustomed to things, but I found it. I found myself a little bit more relaxed to let my arm go a bit and just try, try a few shots, just because nobody's really watching you as much. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It was good to get on the outside a bit and just sort of slum it, if you like, and just try and get involved and see what it's all about. So yeah, I really enjoyed it all in all. Uh, will, will we see you again at another pool tournament? Hopefully. Um, as long as the, the snooker calendar allows it. Exactly, if the, if, uh, if the snooker calendar fits around it. and. I've heard there's a European event as well that's on the cards, possibly for the end of the year. If that's not anywhere near like the snooker events, then I'd love to rent that and try again. And I feel obviously I've got I've got experience now of what to expect. And having had a shot of Alvin's queue there at the end, I'll definitely be getting some new equipment. Sorry, Gareth, but <laughs> it's pushing all over me. I need some. We'll sort you some out. Don't worry. We'll sort you some out. I, I need a freebie. <laughs> I'll get a freebie. Listen, last question: Who's better at pool, you or Jordan? Well, it's got to be me, hasn't it? I I did, so, did I yeah. win more games? I think you probably did. I've yeah, won more games, so it's me. It has to be. Yeah. <laughs> right, cheers, guys. Thanks right. for stopping by. Cheers, yeah. Appreciate it. Nice one. Cheers.